That is disappointment. That is all the duck eggs that I've collected, but nobody is sitting on. So I don't know if this is going to work. I can't seem to get them to go broody, unfortunately. I've even tried to make it kind of like a, I've even tried to make it like a little kind of hidden, like cave-like feel. It's nice and dark and secluded. But I also wonder if, I think the chickens are just bothering them because they also want to lay eggs. I still haven't built the nest. Oh, see, look. That doesn't belong there. So. I just don't think we're gonna get any ducks to sit on eggs this year. We'll try next year, but I've, I've still gotta get the uh, nesting box built here because this is kind of like a floating beam almost. Um, I actually want to take this off and rip it down to a two by two, but I'm gonna build a floating nesting box here with plenty of uh, nesting boxes so that the ducks can nest without being disturbed by the chickens and the chickens have another nest to lay in. Good morning, Magnolia. Hi, pretty girl. Hello, chicken nuggets. I know, you guys are starving. I'll get you guys some food. So far, everyone is doing great out here. We haven't had any casualties since they moved out. Chicken tractor's holding up good. Um, we did have one interesting scenario the other night where we had a pretty serious storm come through, and this actually got lifted and pushed just enough that it actually pushed it onto our electric poultry net. That was interesting. That, that was an interesting thing to come out to but um, they're doing good. Gotcha. <laughs> that feeding frenzy. Chicken nuggets! Chicken nuggets! Magnolia is starting to look more like a goose. Aren't you Magnolia? Oh, hi pretty girl. Yes. Look at those feathers coming in. You're going to be so pretty. Wow, you guys have worn this grass down a lot quicker than the last patch. So the last patch where they were just at, we moved, I moved them yesterday. The last patch, they had been on it for five days and they didn't really wear down too much. It was actually pretty nice. I mean, the grass laid flat and that was my signal that it's time. I watched the grass daily and once it was looking like it was laying pretty flat and they had kind of stressed it out, that was when I moved them. So I moved them to the next batch and it's looking like they're already starting to terrorize this grass pretty quickly. So this might get to the point, we might be getting close to the point where I'm gonna have to start moving them more frequently. So we will see and watch that. I moved the main pasture flocks tractor. This is where they were. 
don't know if you guys can see that all the well, but you can kind of see the outline of the chicken tractor. Um, they were on it a lot longer than I had originally wanted them to be, so they kind of stressed it out a bit. But they're on fresh grass now, and uh, we're actually starting to get close to the end of their poultry net. So here soon, we will be moving the pasture flock to their next section. I haven't, still haven't quite decided where that next section is going to be. But they still got this little bit of grass left. Duck, 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 ducks. Hey, duck, ducks. Duck, 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 duck. <laughs> so I'm thinking um, here down the road when Magnolia gets to be big enough, she's showing that she can uh, kind of defend them against aerial predators or alert them so they can run for cover. Uh, we might start free ranging them inside the poultry net and actually like propping up the chicken tractor so they can still get in there. My only concern is that I don't want the pasture flock getting in and eating their food. So we do have a second poultry net. Um, maybe we'll set them up in their own poultry net and let them run in their own area. We have a limited time out here in the pasture because we are going to be going and getting something here soon. We're just waiting for it to come in. Uh, We've known about it for a couple of weeks, but we haven't talked about it because it's kind of a first serve, first come, first serve basis. So I'm hoping we get there in time. But uh, we've got something new coming to the pasture. I know it seems like it's always something new, but this is something that kind of pertains to uh, raising food. Of course, it is a new animal, hopefully two new animals, and uh, they would be getting added to the, um, the chicken nuggets flock for us to raise up. So later on we'll be going and getting those. In the meantime, I'm hopeful, very hopeful, because Annabelle, she says over the last few days seemed to have been bagging up just a little bit. She hasn't started to gain any edema or anything like that. She hasn't like gotten swollen in the udder, but she is bagging up a little bit and she looks a little loose in the end. Let me see if I can end. And then on top of that, look, she's uh, she seems to have dug. Now it's not like it's hot, but this is somewhat fresh. Maybe she dug this yesterday, but she's, uh, she's definitely been digging and that is a definite sign. She did this before she calved with Lexi last year. Annabelle. I need you to stand up, mamas. I need to check your ligaments, baby girl. Come on, come on, come on babies. Come on, yep, good girl. So let me check you babies. Hi Axel, he's doing good. But she's definitely looking a little full her. You're starting to be able to see veins. Oh yeah, she feels, she definitely feels fuller. She's still got some bag, some extra skin back here, but she's definitely filling up. But I mean, look, this is a pretty soft and jiggly. I mean, I don't know. I'm still, like I said, still learning the signs, but please let me know in the comments what you think. These were already somewhat sunken in because she had lost weight, but I don't know. She's very jiggly, very loose there. So maybe. You want to give her chin scratches? Give her chin scratches. There you go. That's a good girl, Annabelle. Hi, Axel. Hi, handsome. Yes. So hopefully here soon, we will be uh, having a birthing video. Hopefully Annabelle calves soon. And we're gonna try and watch her very closely this time around because I definitely wanna be here this time to be present while she calves. I'd love to get that on video. That'd be really cool. So we'll keep you guys updated on that. So we just got back to the house. We got a call from the feed store. They came in. 
So we didn't want to dilly dally because we know that they had just got off the mail truck and we didn't want them to, uh, we wanted to get them home quickly. But here, Leon, you want to grab them? Yeah, come here, bud. All right. All right. Bring them out. We got turkey. Turkey poles. They're so cute. And snuggly. Mm -hmm. Did you know? Did you know turkeys are actually more calmer than chicks? Yeah, they definitely have been. Here, turn. Let me see them. <laughs> oh, yeah. See, they're just a, they're just ready to snooze. And earlier, while we were in the truck, they they were trying to eat my ears and some of my fingers. Yeah. <laughs> they're like. Right. Well, let's get them. Let's get them in the heat. Okay, come on. So this is our first time raising turkeys, um, but I've wanted to for a long time, and I thought it would be cool. I. I was at my local feed store and I saw that they were having a shipment coming in at the end of May and so given that we had lost a few of the meat chicks we had kind of a little extra room from what we had originally planned so um, Davis gave me his blessing and I went and got two uh, little turkey poults and they are straight run so we have no idea what they're going to be but I thought that it could be really cool to try and grow a Thanksgiving dinner and then maybe one for Christmas as well. I mean, we might not be able to harvest it in time for Thanksgiving, but it's worth a try. That'd be cool. So, um, what if we can, what if we, uh, I was thinking about referring to them as Bert and Ernie. Leon, what do you think of, of calling them Bert and Ernie? Bert and Ernie. Bert and Ernie. They seem like a Bert and Ernie. Nah. <laughs> nah. <laughs> So we gotta come up with, we gotta come up with something to refer to them by, though. Okay, so. Why don't we just call them turkey nuggets? No, we're not calling them turkey nuggets. We got chicken nuggets. So leave a comment down below if you guys have an idea for any names that we could refer to them by. Um, it could be so, preferably something funny, something funny or cute. Um, unfortunately, these are. Um, we had thought about maybe getting three and keeping one for Thanksgiving and seeing if we could raise the other two, but the only ones that they had were the broad-breasted bronze, and those are commercially bred to grow so fast they, they can't, they're just not designed to live long. So we nixed that, we got two. Why would we call the smaller one fuzzy? It's really fuzzy. It's really fuzzy? Well, it won't be fuzzy for long, so it'll get feathery. So, but these, this breed is just not designed to live long, and even if they do happen to live long, they, the way that they are bred, they've got bigger chests, it's not really physically possible for them to breed, thus defeating the purpose of us keeping a pair, breeding pair to raise our own turkeys. So maybe down the road we'll look into that, um, but I mean, this is fine, this is cool. So we'll keep you guys posted on uh, the, little, the little turkeys. <laughs> 